Good morning. The Shaw Foundation at USC, founded by Steven Spielberg, contains over 1,600 testimonies of survivors who speak about epidemics, epidemics in the ghettos, in the prisons, and of course, in the camps. In one of those testimonies, survivor Olga Horak speaks about her time at Bergen-Belsen. And she points out that towards the end of the war in 1945, the camp, she says, did not need to have gas chambers. It had crematoria. The people just died like flies. We are stricken by typhus, dysentery, diphtheria, cholera, tuberculosis, and who knows how many other diseases. Other survivors speak about walking through hundreds of corpses as they made their way through the barracks. Of course, there was no medication. Very few received any kind of aid. Sometimes those who were infected were removed. Sometimes they were killed. And oftentimes they were just let to die. I mention this, of course, because of what's going on in the world today and that tonight begins Yom HaShoah Vagvura, Holocaust Remembrance Day, the day in which we also recognize the acts of Holocaust bravery. I'm thinking, of course, of the survivors today, survivors here and around the world, many of whom live alone. And for some, this pandemic is a reminder of times that they spent in closed quarters or after the rest of their family was taken and they were left alone. It is a reminder of a time when access to food was difficult and when fear of a neighbor was the norm. And I'm grateful that our community here in Toronto, particularly through the efforts of UJA, have gone to tremendous lengths to ensure that the survivors in our community are supported. They can be supported in a lot of ways. And while a basket of food is very much appreciated, so too is a phone call and knowing that your community is there for you. And I'm thinking of Ari Evan, who survived the war thanks to Raoul Wallenberg and who sadly became Israel's first COVID-19 victim about a month ago. And I'm thinking of Alexander Kimmel, survivor who passed away in 2018 and who wrote this poem titled The Action in the Ghetto of Rohatan, March 1942. Do I want to remember the peaceful ghetto before the raid, children shaking like leaves in the wind, mothers searching for bread, shadows on swollen legs moving with fear. No, I don't want to remember, but how could I forget? Do I want to remember the creation of hell, the shouts of the raiders enjoying the hunt, cries of the wounded begging for life, faces of mothers carved with pain, hiding children dripping with fear. No, I don't want to remember, but how can I forget? Do I want to remember my fearful return Families vanished in the midst of the day. The mass grave steaming with vapor of blood. Mothers searching for children in vain. The pain of the ghetto cuts like a knife. No, I don't want to remember, but how can I forget? Do I want to remember the wailing of the night? The doors kicked ajar, ripped feathers floating the air. The night scented with snow melting blood, while the compassionate moon is showing the way for the faceless shadows searching for kin. No, I don't want to remember, but I cannot forget. Do I want to remember this world upside down where the departed are blessed with an instant death while the living condemned to a short wretched life and a long torturous journey into unnamed place, converting living souls into ashes and gas. No, I have to remember and never let you forget. And finally, today, sadly, I'm also thinking about the victims of yesterday's mass murder in Nova Scotia. 16 people dead, plus the gunman. And I know that the devastation is further darkened as the families of the victims will not be able to find comfort amidst their friends and loved ones during this pandemic. They'll be suffering home, sometimes even likely alone. I know that our hearts, the hearts of the Jewish community, will understand what it means to be in pain 
go out to them today. I encourage you all this evening to turn to holocaustcenter.com, the Newberger Center, to watch as we stream live from our homes a Holocaust memorial service as we commemorate this Yom HaShoah Agbura 2020. I wish all of you a healthy day, a safe day. Bye-bye.